Welcome back to the channel, my name's Shan. Oxfus Energy Saving Sessions are back for this winter, where they'll pay you a few pounds per kilo hour saved or exported. But things have changed compared to last year. In this short video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know and do to make some money back this winter, including like me if you have solar panels and or battery storage. Let's jump into it. So what are saving sessions and why do they run in the first place? The Oxfus Energy name saving sessions are part of a bigger scheme known as the Demand Flexibility Service or DFS and it's the start of a new chapter in energy consumption where people get rewarded for the electricity they don't use at the busiest times of the day. With increasing energy prices, it's never been more important to help people save power and money. Currently, the UK often has to fire up extra dirty coal and gas stations to satisfy everyone's energy needs at the busiest times of the day, typically between 4 and 7 p.m. Rather than paying these very expensive fossil fuel generators to turn on when demand is high, it makes more sense to reward people for switching off or shifting their energy use outside of these times. Not only will this cut carbon emissions, but it helps balance the grid and allows us to make the most of green energy when the sun is shining and the wind is blowing. To be eligible to take part in the saving sessions, you'll need a smart meter in which Octopus will need to have received 80% of your last 15 days of meter readings. This is so that they can verify how much energy you've managed to save. And if you don't have one, you can request one through the Octopus website. Octopus will inform you about the saving session with as much notice as possible via an app notification or via email. To make sure this happens, turn on your app notifications by clicking on the head in the top right hand corner of the app, clicking notifications, and then turn on the notification settings toggle button. If you really want to make sure you have all bases covered, you can join the saving sessions alert channel on WhatsApp. And I've dropped a link to this in the video description box below. You can opt into the saving session via the app or email link. If you don't opt in, you won't be able to earn any points. During the session times, you should try and avoid using any high electricity consumption items such as dishwashers, washing machines, tumble dryers, ovens, or charging your electric vehicle. A day or so after the session, Octopus will let you know how much you've saved and how many points you've earned. You can choose to exchange these Octo points for cash, and it'll be credited to your account within 14 days. Eight Octo points are worth one penny. Octopus work this out by looking at your half hourly usage over the last 10 weekdays, excluding saving sessions, if the saving session is on a weekday, or if on a weekend, then the last four weekend days. So what can you do before and during a saving session? Starting with if you don't have solar and or a battery. Given that most saving sessions are typically between 4 and 7 p.m. when people are getting back in from work and making dinner, you'll want to plan ahead. So if you can have something ready that needs mineral preparation, can be heated up on gas, in a slow cooker during the day, or you can simply wait till after the saving session finishes, then that will certainly reduce down your household consumption. As you'll know gas use doesn't impact the saving session, it's just electricity use that they're interested in. And a pro tip so you don't go without, why not fill up a thermal flask just before the saving session kicks off, so you can still have a brew. At the very least you'll want to make sure that there are no high consuming electrical items on during the saving session. All we usually have on during these times are the lights in the rooms we're using, our fridge, freezer and the Wi-Fi. All the essentials. But what happens if you're like me and you have solar panels and or a battery? We're already very low users of peak electricity, owing to the solar and battery storage, but we can still take part. This year, unlike last year, Octopus will pay you for any energy exported during the saving session. I don't know why I'm celebrating that, I'm not quite sure why they weren't doing it before, it just makes sense. For this you'll need to discharge your battery to the grid during the saving session, whilst minimising your household consumption in order to maximise your export. So for the last saving session on the 29th of November, between 5pm and 6.30pm, Octopus were paying £4 per kilowatt hour. This is not an opportunity to be missed, and can provide a serious boost to paying back your initial investment considering typical export rates during this time are around 26p per kilowatt hour. So the £4 per kilowatt hour is around 15 times as much as you'd normally get. For best results you should, make sure that you have a full battery. So an hour or two before the saving session is due to start, make sure you charge it to 100% with either solar, hard to come by in winter, or from the grid. Even if you're having to top it up at peak rates, in my case 29.58p per kilo hour on Octopus Go, it doesn't matter as you'll be able to export it at a significantly higher rate. 
This also ensures you won't run out of kilowatt hours to discharge during the saving session. Set a reminder on your phone for a minute or two before the saving session is due to start and begin exporting so you can account for any inverter lag. I tend to do this manually from the GiveNG app itself by pressing the play button and then the discharge now icon which is the battery with the minus on it. I've tried scheduling a forced discharge on an Octopus Flux previously and it hasn't gone so well and given these saving sessions aren't all that often I'm happy to oversee it, especially at £4 per kilowatt hour. At the start of the saving session, and as in the previous section, make sure that your household consumption is the lowest it can be without having to sit in the dark, as anything your house is consuming will detract from the amount of battery you can discharge to the grid. At the end of the saving session, stop force discharging the battery and resume its normal operation by pressing the play button. For the first saving session, which was one hour long, we managed to save and export 2.51 kilowatt hours of electricity earning us 4,528 octo points, worth £5.66. pence. And with the saving session I mentioned before, worth even more for longer, I suspect we'll be earning double digits next time. If you found this video useful, then please like it and subscribe to the channel to keep up with new content I'll be uploading. And if you enjoyed this video, then I think you'll find this video on whether solar panels and or a battery are worth considering for you, and I'll catch you there. Thanks for watching, see you next time.